Welcome. Today we should be looking at the anesthesia machine. An anesthesia machine is a machine that is used to deliver precise mixture of gases and anesthetic agents to patients during surgery. The anesthesia machine has three main functions, delivering oxygen and anesthetic gases, removing exhaled carbon dioxide, and monitoring the patient and gas parameters. The major components of the anesthesia machine include the gas supply system, the pressure regulators, flowmeters, vaporizers, the breathing circuit, the scavenging system, monitors, and a ventilator. Each component plays a vital role in safe and effective anesthesia delivery. Let us start with the first component of the gas supply system. The gas supply system delivers oxygen, nitrous oxide air, and other medical gases from either high pressure cylinders or hospital pipelines. It comprises of a cylinder, cylinder regulators, connecting pipelines which ensure continuous and a safe gas supply. The next component is a pressure regulator. Pressure regulators are used to reduce the high gas pressure from the cylinders to a safe and constant working pressure, and this protects a downstream components and maintains a consistent flow of oxygen to the patient. The next component is a flow meter. Flow meters control and measure the flow of gases in liters per minute. Each gas has its own color-coded flow meter, allowing a precise control of the flow rates to the patient. Another component is a vaporizer. Vaporizers convert liquid anesthetic agents or volatile agents into vapor and then adds them to the gas flow. These vaporizers are designed to deliver controlled concentration of anesthetic vapor that is mixed with oxygen or any other carrier gas. The types of vaporizers include a variable bypass vaporizer and a measured flow vaporizer. And for each of the inhaled anesthetic agents, the respective vaporizers are color coded depending on the anesthesia. It is important for you to know that each of the vaporizers is color coded to a specific inhaled anesthetic yellow for sevoflurane, purple for isoflurane, a red for halogen, and a blue for desflurane. The breathing circuit. The breathing circuit delivers anesthetic gases to the patient and removes the exhaled carbon dioxide from the patient. The key components of a breathing circuit include a receiver bag, an inspiratory and expiratory limb, unidirectional valves, and a carbon dioxide absorber. The bellow system is part of the ventilator mechanism. These are dual circuit pneumatically driven system where the driving gas compresses the bellow which in turn delivers the patient's gas into the lungs. This mimics the normal ventilation. It acts as an interface between the breathing system gas and the ventilator's driving gas. A carbon dioxide absorber removes carbon dioxide from the patient's exhaled gases using materials such as soda lime and these absorbers typically include color indicators which change when the absorber is exhausted and needs replacement. The scavenging system removes excess anesthetic gases from the operating room to ensure safety in the operation. The system can achieve scavenging using a vacuum or a passive vacuum system. Then we have another component of a monitor. Monitoring of the patients is quite essential. And this monitoring system displays information regarding the pulse oximeter, carbonograph, an oxygen analyzer, and airway pressure monitoring. These parameters provide real-time information on the patient's status and gas delivery. A ventilator delivers breaths when the patient is under general anesthesia. We have a number of modes that are 
set in this ventilator, for example, the volume control, the pressure control mode, and a synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation or SIMV mode. There are several types of anesthesia machine, and the three common types are a continuous flow machine, which is a standard anesthesia type in modern operating system. Then we have a draw over machine that is ideal for field use because of its portability and a computerized that offers advanced digital control. Some of the safety features of anesthesia machine include an oxygen fail safe system, an hypoxic guard, pressure relief valves, oxygen flash valve, flow meter color coding, and a vaporizer interlock system to prevent multiple agents from running simultaneously. The common alarms in an anesthesia machine include a low oxygen pressure alarm, a high airway pressure alarm, an apneic alarm, an apnea alarm, and a disconnect alarm. All of these are promptly addressed to ensure the patient's safety. And lastly, some of the care and maintenance tips that we put in place when handling an anesthesia machine include a daily check of machine and sockets, a regular calibration of the machine and the servicing, regular cleaning of reusable parts of the machine, replacement of the filters and soda lime, and checking for leaks and documentation of the maintenance schedule. These practices are essential for keeping the anesthesia machine reliable and safe to use.